Hey everyone, this is Alex with Virtual Set Lab, and today we're going to be going over how to use a virtual set in After Effects. All right, everyone, so we've got After Effects opened up, and this is version 17.0.4. This is basically After Effects 2020. So what we want to do first is go to our finder where we have all of our media. We've got some green screen footage. We've got our render from Virtual Set Lab. And then we've got a graphic to go on the TV and the rendering that's going to pop down. So let's click and drag this media over into After Effects. So what we're going to do is click and drag the Virtual Set Lab media onto the Create New Composition icon. And that's going to create a new composition based on the Virtual Set Lab aspect ratio and also frame rate and then we're going to bring in our green screen media scale it down to 50 percent to match the same size as our virtual background and the effect that we're going to use is called key light so if you search for key light in your effects panel you'll see a key light and advanced spill suppressor effect so click and drag that onto the green screen media and this eyedropper here, you wanna click and then find a spot on the green screen that's a uniform color and also close to the subject and go ahead and click there. And if we zoom in here, you'll see that she's got some green spill on her hair. And this advanced spill suppressor that's built in, if you just turn on the effect, it works great. And to make our key even better, what we can do is hit screen mat and there's a couple of little dirty spots here where it's grainy. What you can do is go to screen mat in your effects control panel and clip the black. Just bring that up a little bit. And if you look at our subject, she's also a little grainy in spots. What we can do is clip the white. Just bring that down a little bit until it's uniform. And if we go back up to intermediate result, we'll see that we have a pretty clean key here. I'm going to turn this back to quarter resolution. And so you'll see after about seven frames, the monitor starts to come in. We can select the background with the monitor layer. You can command shift D or control shift D to split the layer and say we want the screen to come in at two seconds. We can go back to our first few frames here on the bottom layer where the background isn't moving right click, go to time, and then freeze frame. And what we can do is click and drag that bottom layer up until it meets where the screen comes down and you'll notice nothing changes on the background. It's very seamless. And say so we want the screen to sit there for a few seconds. You can command shift D or control shift D on that layer again to split it and Move the layer down with your mouse until the screen starts to go back up. But you don't want it to be moving yet. It's just before it starts moving. And what you can do is hit Command Shift D again to split that layer. And it's seamless right before it moves. So what we want to do is move our subject so that she's right next to the TV. And you'll notice that we're going to need to key that screen as well. So if we go back to our effects panel, you can click on the monitor layer, make sure that's selected, and then double click on key light, key cleaner, and advanced fill suppressor again. Use that eyedropper to select the color of the screen. And then you can select this advanced fill suppressor option again to clean it up even more. And then what we're gonna wanna do is go back to our effects control panel, select all of these effects here, while holding down shift and hit command C, select this other layer that is green and hit command V. There we go. And so all that's left is taking our graphic that goes on the screen, dragging it to the very bottom. And you'll see that it's 1920 by 1080 as well. So what we're gonna need to do is scale this down and line it up as best as we can right inside that monitor. Just 
use the arrow keys until it's perfectly lined up. And then we want the HUD graphic to fade in after the screen has already come down. So I'm gonna change back to a quarter resolution for better playback. So once the screen has stopped moving, we can drag our HUD layer to that spot. Click on T for transparency or opacity. Set that to zero. Go down 15 or 20 frames. Set it to 100. And so we want to go right before the screen moves. Set a keyframe for opacity. Set that to zero. Go back 20 frames. Set it to 100 again. And so you'll see the screen will come down and then the graphic will fade on. I think it could actually come in a little bit sooner. All right, so we're just gonna play this back. And you can go to the last spot where your presenter's on screen, push in on your keyboard to set the render out point. And there we go. Thanks everyone for watching and be sure to go to virtual-studio-set.com for your virtual background needs. See you next time.